On the eve of announcement of candidates in 80 constituencies for the June 3 snap election, three main partners in the governing coalition will jointly field one candidate per constituency. The parties will then support the candidates that represent the coalition. It is now a trend on the continent for parties to work together to fight elections. 52 constituents we are going to give it to DC and 25 we are going to give it to LCD and one to PFD. By doing that we are going to be win the election and we are going to be the government after the 3rd of June. Out of a total of 120, the parties believe this strategy will give them 60 plus 1 seats out of 80, enough constituencies to form government before allocation of the other 40 proportional representation seats. They will also campaign jointly and convince their supporters to swap votes as agreed. IEC doesn't actually compel, doesn't compel any political parties of how many candidates it should sponsor. So as long as it has shown or indicated that it's, the party is participating, it's fine. The number is another. But some have raised concerns. Each party is assessed on the basis of its individual strength, its own individual strength. So now you see this electoral pact. It, are such that political parties are going to rent to one another the, 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 the voters. And that says these are not genuine voters for this particular political party. The country's courts ruled in the 2007 objections that where no law is violated, there is no recourse. Constituency candidates will be announced on Wednesday. Ntakwa Nangatani, SABC News, Masero Lesotho.